Howdy, howdy, fellow trainers, and welcome back for another visit to the Helzari region as part of the Pokemon Bliss and Oblivion Project here at PT Creative. As always, I'm your host, Evan Davies. You have a new evolution just in time for Halloween, and I know you want to see it, so let's get to it right here, right now. I am thrilled beyond belief to introduce you to Bansheon, the ghost type evolution here in the Halzari region. It's going to be a heck of a lot of fun to showcase for now. Now, in the creation of Bansheon, I, I went through a lot of different things. You can see in this first kind of sketch, I was thinking more of the classic floating ghost variation of an evolution. And although I think that's still a really fun idea, I just didn't go with that because I wanted something a little bit more tangible and a little bit closer to a traditional evolution. Uh, a big tip for anyone creating. Pokemon or Fakemon is you want to have as many pieces of tangibility that are close to the Pokemon that already exist because then it allows someone to look at them or view them in a similar vein to pre existing Pokemon. So when making an evolution, you kind of have to fit within the similar uh, form or art style to make it feel more tangible, more real to someone who may look at it, play with this character, things of that nature. So when we're really going through this, I was trying to think of <clears throat> many elements that would make a ghost type, you know, vibe, but at the same time keep true to that evolution style, which is why I came up with this really, really cool concept, in my opinion, at least, in which you have this evolution, you still have those trademark big ears, but you see a lot of Pokemon uh, getting this neck piece, which I also thought was really fun. I wait, I stayed away from the original brace. Uh, kind of concept I had on the angles of the paws and just strictly went with the leg concept. However, you're seeing the lining right now and then I want to have this opaque ghost because I wanted this to be something that is with the Pokemon at all times. However, still, the actual evolution is the draw, not the ghost. So that's kind of what I was doing here. And you'll see a similar color palette to the ghost type starter from the region, Apricoon. So I wanted to really invoke that idea of spookiness and evoke those ideas of, of ghost Halloween, things of that nature. That's why we went with this design. Did the really haunting orange eye. So as we go from Bansheon and its base entry, let's go to its Pokedex entry. So as you can see, again, that really capturing eye, it's a little bit more haunting, and we have that squiggle, cl classic stitched smile, Little Nightmare Before Christmas nod in there, which I always think is really fun, and bringing this idea of Bansheon to life. So Bansheon, as we said, is the ghost-type evolution. It is the Shriek Pokemon. Its tail is rumored to be a gateway to another world. This evolution of Eevee has permanently captured a ghost in its lasso-like tail. So... With that idea, the reason it's lasso shaped, when it's exposed to a dusk stone, I, there may be a different, there may be a change in that down the road. However, I thought this would probably be the best because it stays closer to the evolution mechanics of evolutions prior. But it captures a ghost within a lasso like tail, and it's as if its tail is a portal to another world, to the world of the damned, the world of the dead. And you have this ghost that's captured upon its tail and floating there, but because you can barely see it inside of this variation. However, you can probably see it in different artwork that the inner tail does have a little bit of color to it, giving this idea that's a little bit more of a portal. So I really wanted it to capture that this ghost is coming from something else, but then you can see it's wrapped around its tail as well with the ghost tail itself, so it's I got this multiple capture element, which I really like. This is the whole idea. It's this ghost is coming from a different realm, a different world. It's now it's attached itself. It's almost symbiotic to this evolution Bansheon, which is really fun and creates this more sinister Halloween style uh, evolution, if you will. Its ability is pressure, which is a pre-existing ability in which it causes Pokemon to use extra uh, PP or PowerPoints to use different moves, which I think is also super interesting. 
Its height's three foot three inches. It's the same as Sylveon, so I want to stay pretty close to those traditional evolutions. And I personally, I think Sylveon is the best evolution. I think it's my favorite by far. So it's certainly something in which I think that's the one to go to, especially with the the twirling neck pieces and ear pieces. I think that's a really uh, cool concept to work with. And I thought that would work well, especially with the wisping ghost off the tail. So that's why we went with height of three foot three inches. Granted, it'd be a little bit taller with the ghost itself, but the ghost is not always upright. It could be going anywhere. Base stat, 525, same as other evolutions. However, we flip the stats around a little bit. It gains some more speed compared to Sylveon. So its speed is 75, so pretty decent speed. And you're seeing its special attack and special defense are its, its power points. So special attack of 110, special defense of 115. However, lower attack and defense stat, which is fine. Most ghost moves have no... There's not a lot of physical ghost moves. It's far more uh, special attack moves. That's kind of what we're going for. So 65 is for attack and defense. And a 95 HP stat base-wise. So still really good, powerful Pokemon to start off with. It's fun. And like we said before, Eevee evolves using a Dusk Stone to get to Banshee. Now, again, that could change. It was more so... Yeah, I would think that this would be far more of an event evolution. However, I know event evolutions, frankly, a lot of the time suck <laughs> in the actual games, especially as someone who plays them all the time. Event evolutions, I'm kind of like, ah, this drives me insane. Yeah, especially with some of the stuff like Runa Regis, uh, for instance, the, the Galarian Yamask evolution. Like that, that event evolution is utter garbage. And other event Pokemon style evolution. So I, I was like, okay, let's keep it Dust Stone for now, but if we could figure out a different way to do it, maybe we'll change it. But that is Bansheon, the ghost type evolution that is calling Helzari home. Something I'm very, very happy and proud of. And I hope you guys enjoy it too. It's perfect for Halloween season as well. Kind of dress your Eevee up in a ghost type style and have a lot of fun. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the show or this entry to the project. And I hope you're really enjoying this. We're going to have some more Pokemon going forward and some new cool stuff coming to this series relatively quickly in the next month or two. So I want you to check in on that as much as you possibly can. Stay tuned for some social stuff as well. Just stay in touch because we want to see more from you. And check me out on threads. I'm trying to just connect with people there. Get a lot of Pokemon TCG conversations right now, which is a lot of fun, especially with the new game just releasing so let's have some fun and connect there but that is going to do it here folks thank you guys so much for watching peace love and hugs to you all bye i hear you guys are really liking pt creatives content and you know what you should because it's pretty rad you may even want to support the channel even more well there's a way you can do it and reward yourself and that's by going to our Etsy shop. Head on over to PTE Creatives Etsy shop and you can find all kinds of cool merch like you see on screen. You may be watching some of our Pokemon themed content and going, ah, I'd love some merch there. You can do that. You can even get our custom Fakemon stickers right there or stickers of existing Pokemon, t-shirts, or mystery packs. But you may be saying, huh, I don't know if Pokemon's maybe my vibe. You know what? That's fine. Because we have all kinds of fun, snarky millennial content and sports related things over at the Etsy shop as well. The, you maybe you got some big bench warmer energy that you just got to spread with the world. Or maybe you just need to tell people that you hope both teams are having fun as they're playing because it's just all about vibes to you. And you hate to see it. You'd hate to see it if you didn't get your merch. You can go get that merch right here, right now. Head on over to Etsy. Go to etsy.com slash shop slash P-T-E creative and go get yourself some awesome merch and go support a local content creator in this community we call the internet. Hope y'all see some great merch coming soon from Etsy. Go to P-T-E creative on Etsy and get yourself some great merch. No!